managed to limp back here at all. Pull it for leeches, get it fixed up, and let her know we'll have it ready as soon as we can. Ah, you are new probationary then? Crew Chief Herath, pleasure to be working with you. It's my job to make sure all you rocket jockeys are ready for anything that comes at you up there. Now, Manifest says we're fitting you out with one comms repair suite. In addition to the standard issue welcome kit all probationary pilots get for their first mission. Med packs, some small arms, couple spare ship parts, all the essentials in case of any surprises up there. My people will have everything on your ship before you lift off. Won't even know they were there. Hmm. So, paying a visit to the people of scenic Tau City 2. Nice easy one for your first job. Just keep your head on swivel and you'll come home safe. Any questions before you head out? I honestly didn't realize it had people living on it until we got your record. Report they gave us seemed clean. No known hostile outposts. But I wouldn't say that's for me. Just watch out for wildlife and pirates. Keep those med packs handy and you'll be fine. Nothing too dangerous, if that's your concern. The repair suite's mostly just wiring and circuit boards. The welcome kit has some goodies in there I wouldn't leave sitting around when company comes to visit. But it's nothing some proper storage can't make safe. Then I won't keep you. Make us look good out there, recruit. documentary about your life will be made into a movie? And who do you think will play me?
abandoned meat packing facility built on the fringes of the settled systems. I wonder what happened here. Something's been through here recently, but left everything in place. <laughs> At least we know it wasn't the Crimson Fleet. She has our best interests in mind. We should do what she suggests. So what do we got here? It's too clean to be one of the settlers. Or a pirate. You see on patrol, maybe? Yeah, make my day if you said you were a shock trooper out for a stroll. Vanguard, huh? Yeah, I expect they didn't. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. A terramorph. One of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. And this one, well, it's some. I can't believe that a terramorph did all this damage. I mean, I've heard the stories, but to see the decimation firsthand. Other than a remorseless killing machine. Among Apex Predators, they're the pinnacle. Resilient, agile, smart, and their mental prowess only increases with age. Some can even dominate the minds of weaker species, keeping them as pets, livestock, or toys. <laughs> they're creatures without peer. Theramorphs have a unique growth cycle. They're usually only found on worlds that have been long colonized by humanity. But Tao said he's too young to have one. Yet here it is. I came looking for an explanation and found all this. I managed to scope out a fair bit of the facility before it found me. If there are any survivors of the attack, they're long gone. I sure could. Because to confirm my suspicions about this creature, I'm gonna need a tissue sample from it. And to get that, I need its corpse. But there is a way we can give ourselves an edge against this thing. The plant security system. The admin terminal's here in this building, but it needs its connection reset. And as I found out, that's not a one-person job. But if you can make it to the security outpost and restore the connection, I think I can get things back online. See if the settlers left us any other tools.
Good. Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there. And make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample. restored. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plant's turrets took a beating, but I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll lead it right into a crossfire. Oh, hello? I wish I'd found this earlier. You notice those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. Trackers reading green. What's that sound?
be avenged to the deaths at the colony. Tracker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or... Wait. You did it, didn't you? <laughs> Heavens above, you just flatlined a terror morph! <laughs> oh, yeah. Taken care of. No big deal. <laughs> you didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? A lot of life gets recorded in our cells. Like, for example, if this Terramorph's cells have certain radiation or chemical exposures, it could point to it having been transported on a ship. Then we could start getting some answers about this thing. So, did you manage to nab one? All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of this. you can do running basic diagnostics nothing maybe a flag scan no. spectrograph Damn. this equipment it's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample but this terramorph being here of all places it doesn't make sense humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars Pets, livestock, pests. But terramorphs? They're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow, they follow us. So when humans settle a world, 70 to 100 years later, terramorphs tend to just appear. No one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Talcetti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully implausible. Which means we're either looking at a truly strange murder or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. Well, they're not exactly buying tickets and flying coach. The theory is that they're spread by some kind of egg or seed that's able to evade our detection. But how the hell an undetectable egg turns into a terramorph without anyone noticing is a question no one's ever found an answer to. And it's why what's happened here could be real bad news for the rest of human civilization. They have. They even took down an entire city once. A place called Londinian had to be quarantined due to a massive outbreak during the colony war. 
It's the only known loss of that scale, but it's the reason why any change in our relationship with these creatures needs to be taken very seriously. You're right. We just need more information first. Time was, I had access to one of the best repositories of Terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking, if I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed, get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? Yeah, I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors. See if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. <sighs> Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. Clear it with your commander first if you have to. You can even show them this. My gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan is worried there could be more attacks on the horizon. They should recognize the name. I was, long time ago, family tradition. But I know some of the folks from my old unit moved into the Vanguard. A couple even owe me favors. If I'm lucky, your commander is one of them. Oh, you don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. I'm not sure exactly where to find him, but last I heard, he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia. A bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And here. It's not exactly a bounty, but you certainly deserve them. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars, at least. Now please, go check in with your commander. We need to know what we're dealing with. Well, that was fun. Now what? Look who's back. All set with that probationary mission? We can do your debrief and formally welcome you into the van. A terror? What? How did you walk away with the terramorph tissue sample running comms repairs? What happened to the settlers? A gene tag? Let me see that. Hmm, Sanan. I know that name. Let me check the database. Huh. A lot of this data has been classified. Here we go. Service record. Wow. That's a lot of commendations. Seems like she served with distinction as... Co-head of a UC Xeno Weapons Division. Faced tribunal at the end of the Colony War. And was dismissed from duty. Guess that's why I'd heard the name before. If she's former Xeno Warfare, though... Well... Can at least be sure she knows her aliens. I'm sure she doesn't list it at the top of her resume, but considering her service record and her area of expertise, I'm not seeing a reason to think this request is anything other than genuine. Did your survivor, Hadrian, does she mention why she thinks this sample is so special? I. I see. This. Uh, 
has been one of the more surprising debriefs I've ever been a part of. I did actually have another mission lined up for you, supporting UC system defense against the Crimson Fleet. But now I guess you have two options on how to proceed. Head to the UC Vigilance and help out SysDef, or deliver that sample. I'll make sure you've got the proper clearances for either path. Consider these your first official orders. And here, so everyone knows you're working with the Vanguard. Welcome to the Navy, Captain. Vanguard's also got some custom ship modifications. You'll be cleared for access to them next time you're down at the spaceport. Talk to ship services. Now, if there wasn't anything else, I'd suggest you move out. <laughs>